What's going on guys TechJiko here and today I'm bringing you guys the ultimate guide to set up screen overlay using MSI Afterburner. You can use this information gathered from the Afterburner to identify how well your PC can handle a specific game, where are your configuration lacking in the sense of RAM, CPU, GPU etc. If you guys do find this guide effective and happy with the results, Please do let me know down in that comment section below as to what sort of results you have getting and if you guys could share this video with friends, coworkers or anyone that could find that can benefit from these fixes, please do share this video around with them. And last but not least, if you can press that like button, if you are happy with the result, that would deeply appreciate as it, it helps me out tremendously. And for any of you guys who frequently follow us of my content, you wish to further support by pressing that bell icon for future contents and more. But all that said and done, out of the way, let's straight get into the guide. Before we proceed into MSI Afterburner software, we need to make sure that we have the latest version of MSI Afterburner or River Tuner. So if you already installed the software, then you can just uh, skip this part and straight go into that uh, setup in section or other ways it is recommended that you can uninstall completely the MSI Afterburner along with the River Tuner and then downloading the version that I prefer you and then just follow this video link. So either it is your choice, you can decide which way you want to proceed forward. So if you want to skip, you can skip and forward to the set timestamp or otherwise you can follow me along by uninstalling the previous version and following this version so to download the stable latest version you need to go to any of your search engine I prefer Google right now and in Google you can type download download MSI afterburner so I already downloaded it uh, so so here uh, in this search bar you can go down until you see a website called guru3d.com this is a website uh, where you can download the latest version of MSI Afterburner you can download this software from any any website doesn't matter where you are downloading from but uh, I, would pre I would prefer you to download from this website so that you can follow along with me without any trouble so once you are in this website you can scroll down until you see download section so here is the download location and go down you can see download the stable version or final version as of now it is 4.6.2 maybe when you are watching this video it may be some other version but it's fine just go for the latest version and once you you can click here and you can start downloading if it doesn't start downloading then you can just go down and click on this click here and it will forcefully start downloading so i already downloaded the file and i have it here it is a zip file so you can open this zip file and once you are there you can see a folder and a file uh, just open this file you can either extract this file or just run it it doesn't matter because there is no other supporting files along with this uh, exe file so once prompt appears press yes and ok just like any other software you can click next 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 but when you are in this screen you need to make sure that you are enabled you enabling this river tuner static server if you are going to disable this one then you will lose a lot of options like overlay screen overlay option will be not available in your MSI afterburner so make sure that you enable this option and after that uh, you can press yes next and you can change the location or you can install to the default location click install and it may take a little bit time and before this finishes I will ask you to install the river tuner also so you just wait till that prompt comes up here so once it is uh, completed it will ask to install the river tuner all right so our msi afterburner is completely installed and right now this river tuner installation started you can click next and just like any other software you can install straight away there is no trick in here you can straight away install it just like any other software so once the, this installation is finished you can open it uh, the MSI afterburner you need to open not the river tuner 
it will be opened in minimized tray so here it will be open the river tuner will be opened by automatic but we need to run uh, this msi after burner so we can press uh, untick this show me read me file and tick this run msi after burner and press finish so here is my msi after burner maybe yours will be different it is just theme uh, so you can go to settings or if you are uh, installing for first time then there is a gear icon here with two side meters it is pretty much this is the old style and i like this style so this is minimal one uh, so if you are on the latest version or latest uh, skin then you will have a gear icon other than the settings button but options will be same only so once you are in general here you can see general your graphics card is mentioned here so my both graphics card are mentioned here so next thing you need to go to monitoring tab and here i already have this all uh, set up so I, do, I will disable this all and show from the beginning so okay fine so i completely reset now maybe if you are installing the msi afterburner for first time then your option your monitoring option will be just like this nothing is selected anything like this so the first thing that we want is gpu temperature so this one will show the temperature of your gpu this is very handy so if you want to show this one or if you want to display it one then you can select it on this section and then go down and select this show in on screen display you need to take it and here there are two or three options text graph text graph so if you are going to select text then it will be a text format if you are in graph then you will see something like a a wave graph wave uh, so i will prefer text right now mostly i see text it's so hard to understand the graph but uh, if you prefer more professional look then you can go for graph so the next thing is override group name here by default it is not selected you can select and rename this section so i'm going to rename it to gpu temp for the sake and then you can press enter so by entering it will be minimized so you don't need to enter there uh, so next thing is gpu usage this is also you need to select and uh, then show on screen display uh, you need to take it and if you prefer you can rename it i already renamed it earlier so it remembers that and uh, you can go down cpu2 usages if you have two gpus uh, then uh, so i don't i don't remember whether i mentioned this as cpu but it's gpu sorry guys so uh, gpu2 usage you don't need to uh, take care of that is the integrated graphics card so you don't need to uh, worry about that one then you can go down a little bit and you can see gpu temp limit power limit voltage limit and all those details you can enable uh, if you but it will just clumsy up on the side so it, i would prefer to minimal style if you want you can just enable all of them and the next important one is g cpu so so here cpu temperature there are i have 12 cores so that's why it is just i'm mentioning 12 cpu so uh, but overall temperature is mentioned by cpu temperature so select that one and go show in on screen display and then you can uh, rename this one if you want then you need to go down a little bit down go bit more and here ram usage it is also very handy so you can just enable that one also same just like other options enabled and if you want to see the frame rates you need to it was uh, currently you can't enable show on screen display because it is not enabled by default so you need to click on this tick icon and now you can tick this show on screen display and it will be shown the display and here also you need to do a little bit uh, something like benchmarking in order to get this 1% low and 0.1% low this this section see if you want to enable this one then you need to go to benchmark and record and all those things so uh, if you want that uh, i'll make another video explaining all those things uh, you can comment below if you want that video anyway so this video's purpose is to just uh, show that on screen how that on screen is working and how to enable that one so we are going to skip that part so pretty much everything is finished here then you can go to on screen display and here 
toggle on screen display this is a short key shortcut key so if you clear it on by default it will be none just uh, just press there and select any of the key so I'm going for F8 so once so whenever I press F8 it will be disabled and enabled it is a toggling option everything is finished now we can up click on apply and click on ok so that will minimize the that section setting section now we can minimize this MSI afterburner next thing you need to go to to this uh, this tab and select revert to a static server open that one and you can go down a little bit and you can see raster 3d if that is not visible uh, you can try vector 3d also but you first of all you need to go for this raster 3d and clicking on that that will comes uh, with this section this is a little bit advanced if you don't want you can skip this part uh, so uh, you can select any of the font uh, you want like I'm um, here I selected Helvetica and regular and size uh, by default it will be 7 you can reduce it or you can increase the size from here so the text size and everything will be there and the next thing is color which color you want the, for this section so you can uh, go for black or any color you want but I will prefer white uh, it's all just depend on your f liking so you can skip that part or uh, the here also on screen zoom you can just uh, reduce the size of the uh, this text here uh, and here it is uh, displaying if you want to uh, give padding to your uh, text then you can here you can add 20 by default it will be a 1 uh, but I am going to add 20 and press the enter and here also 20 and enter so it will move 20 20 pixel I think pixel to the uh, center from both sides so that's much here and pretty much everything is finished if anything is uh, not just like me you can go reset and set everything just like this so everything is once everything is set up just like this you can minimize and you can open any of your game and wait till it loads so the game loaded and here we can see GPU temperature, GTX 1060, CPU, RAM and all other details with FPS, everything is listed here and yeah. So if you can't find this one, make sure that you close the game that you are playing right now and then reopen or restart. Before you play the game, you need to open both afterburner and also reward tuner. Then open the game, then only you can see this section. Uh, so this is fraps or whatever it is. So yeah, I hope this video helped you. And last but not least, if you guys can let me know what your results are down in the comment section below, how this video helped you or what kind of error you face while trying this fix or any questions, queries or suggestions for other videos, please let me know in the comment section. If you guys do enjoy this video and found this video helpful, please do like and share it around with anyone of your friends or teammates or anyone that you think can also benefit from this guide. For specific guides related to games, fixes, errors or you just wish to see anything, please do subscribe to my channel and press that bell icon and let me know what kind of video you want next. And by subscribing and turning on that bell icon, you will be instantly notified whenever I upload new videos whether updated guides brand new guides or even community suggested videos by pressing the like button and bell to notify instantly thank you very much for watching this video and keep enjoying more contents and see you soon in another video